Good morning. Let's tune in through the heart by taking three deep cleansing breaths. Taking three life force breaths. And then blowing it out. Fill the lungs completely. Let that heart lift in your chest. Suspend it. Just really expand those lungs. Suspending the breath. Suck in a little bit more air. And release, powerfully exhale. One more time. Deep inhale, fill the lungs completely full and suspend the breath and exhale it out. Now let's go ahead and reach up. Our shade is going away. <laughs> so we're just gonna reach up to the sky, bring it into the heart anchoring those celestial energies and reach up grab your right wrist and just gently tug it feel that line of stretch all the way down to your obliques and switching sides breathing very deeply Really using the breath to guide your movements. And now let's just really focus on the heart here. We are going to do a chakra flower cleanse. And this is going to clear out all of your chakras. So let's go ahead and focus on your root chakra. It is bright ruby red in color. And I want you to visualize a red flower, a beautiful bright red. The first thing that comes to your mind, I'm going to think about a rose. So just really imagine the essence of this beautiful flower spinning around and brightening your root chakra. Breathing in, using your breath to clean out any stuck energy. Let the ocean air just really spin that chakra faster so that the, it is free of blocks. Just imagine it completely illuminating the entire lower part of your body. So let's go ahead and affirm, I am rooted in Gaia Shekinah. And then we're going to use the, the sound of awe, which is the sound of creation. We're going to breathe in deeply together. And let's state the affirmation, followed by awe. I am rooted in Gaia Shekinah. Awe. Visualizing that red energy going all the way up your spine and out your first eye point, your pineal gland. That's really um, all the masters and the yogis would use this sound and really just visualizing that vibration and the light coming from the root chakra all the way up and just kind of like a little fountain coming out your pineal gland. So that's how we're going to do each chakra here so that you have the visualization. So we're gonna move up to our creativity center, our navel sacral chakra, which is right a little below the belly button. And this is an orange light. So just picture a beautiful orange flower, marigold, whatever it is, and just picture that spinning over your navel chakra sacral chakra. This is your creativity center. So just really let that orange energy brighten. Feel that chakra spinning a little faster. Just taking some deep breaths. And we're going to affirm, I am divine creativity. 
and then we'll, we'll do the sound of awe and just picture that orange energy coming all the way up through the spine and out through your pineal gland. So here we go. I am divine creativity. just over the chakra and just imagine it brightening and spinning a little faster. This is your power center, so just really let that beam out into the universe. Taking deep cleansing breaths, we're going to affirm, I am powerful. So here we go, I am powerful. Very good. Now we're going to move into the heart. This is an emerald green color. So just visualize a beautiful green plant. I'm going to visualize. a green lotus flower and just just visualize that light spinning faster amplifying and we're going to affirm I am perfect love I am perfect love Imagining that emerald light coming all the way up your spine and out your pineal gland and just encircling your aura so that we are building a rainbow aura around us for protection and just balance. So here we go. We're restoring balance in our chakra system so that everything is just spinning correctly so that we can really manifest what we need to with the full moon or with the new moon coming in. So next we're going to move up into our throat chakra. This is a light blue. Just really look at the color of the sky and the water. That's the color that we're bringing into our throat chakra. And we're going to affirm, I am divine expression. And just picture a beautiful iris flower just spinning and, and brightening that chakra as you take deep cleansing breaths. I am divine expression. Ah. Mm, just feel that cleared out. We're going to move up into our pineal gland. This is our indigo color. So I'm just going to visualize a beautiful pansy, playful, and just allow it to brighten and open and start to spin faster. This is our wisdom, our insight. This is where we see the higher realms through this gland. Just really connect with the ocean here as we connect with our insight here, our pineal gland. Visualize the color getting brighter, beautiful, indigo, blue. And we're gonna affirm, I am divine insight and wisdom. Beautiful. And 
now we've made it to the crown chakra. This is violet in color. And we're really just gonna imagine a beautiful purple rose. Let it become bright. Imagine this beautiful flower spinning chakra just becoming completely open so that you can really receive your divine guidance and connect with the sun. And we're going to affirm, I am divine understanding. This is who we are. I am divine understanding. Ah. Beautiful. Now we're going to just anchor in these energies by asking our higher self to align all of our chakras and fields into a beautiful crystal tube of light. Just aligning every chakra from the top to the bottom. Just feel it synchronizing everything. We're in complete harmony with the universe. And we're going to now ask Archangel Sandalphin Is the guardian of the earth star chakra we're just going to anchor those energies into the earth star so that we're grounded thank you archangel sandalphon and now we're going to ask archangel metatron to link us to the ninth dimensional ascension bubble so we are balanced Bring it all into the heart center. And now let's do some little deep stretches, slowly opening your eyes. You need to actually move the camera a little bit. actually stand at the front of our mat or your towel. <laughs> towel. <laughs> so let's do some sun salutations reaching up to the sky bringing it back into the heart and reaching back up feel the expansiveness and forward fold touching the mat bringing those energies back into the earth Swing from side, from side to side, spine. clenching your elbows, really loosening up and lengthening that spine forward, wherever you're at. If you need to bend your knees, please do so. No pain. Bring your hands back onto the mat, and we're going to step or jump back into plank position. Let's wake up those toes. Let's just linger into plank for a couple of breaths here. Just kind of wiggle around, kind of sway from side to side, and let's slowly move into our upward dog. Gazing up, gazing over the right shoulder and the left shoulder, really just loosening up that lower spine. If you need to stay a little lower to your mat, that's fine as well. Just whatever your spine will allow. Bring it back into downward dog, really bicycling those legs. Just bicycling. Really stretching. 
through those calf muscles. Feel it in the shoulders as well. Just become that perfect triangle. And jump or step forward to forward fold. And we're gonna peel up the spine. Peel up the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae. Rolling the shoulders at the top, and let's reach back up to the sky. And pull it back into the chest. Really centered in your heart. Moving the mountain so we're going to just stand in mountain here, actually, and just really receive the sun's energy. Feel the light coming in, pouring into the crown, and just filling every cell with that beautiful golden light. And as you exhale, imagine that you are releasing anything that no longer serves you, any negativity, stress, or any perceived weaknesses or judgments from others. And just really let that light come into your hands and really flow from your crown to your toes. Just become the perfect channel of light that you are. We're really receiving, we're not doing anything in this pose. We're just standing in our power and receiving the light that is abundant and infinite and open from our hands. infinite source, our beautiful prime creator. Bring it up, reach up back the up. Just really stretch the, the spine. Center. Bring it back into your heart center here. Just reach back. And reaching up again. And forward fold. Forward fold. And back. And into vinyasa. Slowly lowering it into upward dog. And downward dog. Feel that beautiful ocean energy clearing out your system. We're going to do a half wheel, so go ahead and plant your left hand on the mat and just twisting around, reaching back, stretching that spine all the way to your toes. Such a beautiful stretch from the shoulders and the obliques and switching sides. If you need to put your knee on the mat, please modify the pose if this is difficult. Lower back down. Downward dog. At your own pace. Really just taking some full breaths in between. Step our right leg forward. Step your right leg forward. Make sure your knee is in track with your toes. There you go, perfect, exactly, there you go. Nice adjustment. And we're just going to reach up. And now we're just going to reach up to the sky in crescent. And let's slowly bring our hands. And twisting to the left. And then twisting to the right, like a little helicopter. And then reaching the right, right hand up. Use the right hand to circle it back up to the sky. <laughs> and twisting back down. Reaching back up. And let's helicopter back to the left. And back to the right. And back to the left. Let it be fun. Pretend you're a little helicopter. Reaching back up, and now let's just reach back down to your vinyasa. Meet me back in downward dog at your own pace. Cycling through your plank. Upward dog and downward dog. Now stepping your left leg forward. Reaching up. And twisting to the right. And now we're going to helicopter to the other side. 
circling your arms up and twisting back to the right. Circling your arm back up and twisting to the left. Back up and float back down into your plank, upward dog, downward dog. Really stretching that spine. Feel the lengthening. Let's lie Let's down on the mat. Let's lie down on the mat. And we're going to do some deep stretches. So take your, so take your right knee into your chest and relax your and neck. Really surrender into this pose. Relax every muscle in your body. And just Skinny. gently tugging Skinny. that knee into your chest. This is an amazing hip stretch stretches out the quads as well. This is amazing for all the energy that's just been surging through us with these these planetary alignments. I just kind of like to grab Reach your leg up. If you have a strap, that's perfect. If you can touch your toes, grab your big toes. I like to just kind of grab underneath my knee and then let your leg go off to the side and back and to the middle. Slowly bring that foot back down to the mat and switch sides, pressing that left knee into the chest gently. Really relaxing those muscles, really surrender. And pulling the leg up for another extended leg stretch. Extending to the side and back up. Reach up. Reach up to touch your toes and release down. And now we're just stretch your, your body your like a little rubber band. Imagine that you're being like pulled from the top the and the like bottom. So you're just really extending, just reaching and stretching like from the feet stretch. all the way up to the hands. Feel yourself growing an and inch, two inches taller. And then we're going to peel up, the up like a little, this is a little Pilates move that I love. It's a great core strengthener. And then bring it up and then forward fold and touch your toes. Let's do this, we'll roll through this a few times here. And then we're just going to So peeling back down, and let's just do stretching this out. Floating back up and reaching up to touch the toes. Really use that extension as you come back up to extend you over those toes. And use the core, really peeling through the stomach. Use that core as you press up and over. Surrender for a moment here on your mat, lying on your back. Deep inhales and exhales. Now let's bring it onto all fours. We're going to do some cat cow here, so bring it onto all fours. Just going to kick at your own pace. Stretching up, inhaling, and exhaling, really pushing all that air out of your belly as you push up into cow, breathing in, and really let your breath guide you here. Course through a few breaths here. At your own pace, as quick or as slow as you need to go. I love, I didn't even know you had a crystal. In, breathing out, really in breathing in that ocean air and energy. And then we're going to do an extension. So extending out the right arm and the left leg. So the opposite leg and arm. And just really feel that extension. Feel your body just lengthening in this pose. Hold it for a couple breaths, maybe lifting that leg a little higher and switching sides. 
We are really strengthening the spine here. It also helps to focus on the ground or, or a point that isn't moving to stay balanced in this switching back and forth here. And when you do when you're done with that, just kind of move Let's back go move dog. slowly back into downward dog here. You're feeling Lift that new right opening up, in your shoulders. Your square. Lifting up your right leg, keeping your hips square. Bringing that right leg forward to sit on and straddle forward, pigeon. We're going to fold forward over that knee. Just really release and let go here. Bringing, bringing it back up. We're going to reach back only if you can. Please stay in, in the forward extended version if this is painful at all. So you're going to grab that back toe. Sarah, as Sarah is demonstrating the perfect posture here. And you get a little more flexible every day that you do yoga. So just be patient with yourself. Don't force anything. Slowly wiggling that right leg back up, extending it, shaking out the leg. Switch sides, take the left leg up, try to keep those hips squared. It felt good for me today to open that up, but taking that left leg down, sitting forward, really make sure that that knee is not awkwardly bent forward folding forward softly. Really surrender in this pose. Beautiful hip opener. And if your body allows, you can just push back up and reach back for your foot. back into downward dog, shaking out the legs. Take your right leg forward, stepping it onto the mat. And scooch that right leg over to the side of your mouth, mat, into your lunge position. And this is just a beautiful deep stretch really bring it back down to the mat here and feel that in your inner thigh. Breathing deeply. Let your breath cleanse your body. Now scooching that right foot that's on the mat back to the center of the mat and bring it up to crescent. So putting that opposite leg, your left leg onto the mat. Bring it into warrior one. Reverse warrior. Or warrior two. And reverse warrior. And cartwheel down. Cartwheeling down into your vinyasa. Let's jump forward. Jump forward. Forward fold, really lengthen, and then reaching up to the sun. Bring it into the heart center. Bring it back into the heart. Reach back up. Reach it back up. Forward fold. Forward fold. Halfway up. And jump. Step back to plank. Upward dog. Back into downward dog. And the other side, just taking your left foot forward. 
And let's step the left leg forward. We're going to do the other side. So scooching that left foot over onto the mat. Then you can get a deep stretch here. You're in a lunge position. that left foot back into the center so that you could come up onto your crescent warrior one and back into warrior two reach back into reverse warrior Breathing so deep and cartwheeling back down. Vinyasa into <laughs> Tower Dog. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. I'm in pain. I got burned oh, at the beach yesterday. Oh, no. <laughs> and I think I just got some sand in my eye. Oh, the joys of the beach. Beach yoga. Soaking it in. Yes. <laughs> We decided laugh. to just laugh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so bad. You really can't go to the beach without getting a little sand oh in gosh. places How do you that even get sand out of your eyes? are a little less you than just pleasant. Have to close your eyes and get them moist, as moist as possible, and just so take a moment to just lighten up here. here. <laughs> as I get the sand out of my eyes. <laughs> Close your eyes, focus on your pineal gland. So I guess that'll be my, I'll, it'll look like I'm meditating. Yes. <laughs> so let's just meditate. Let's just keep our eyes closed. Just feel the change in energy. <laughs> Bring it to your heart. I crack myself up. You can't take yourself too seriously, really. You feel all that Gaia Mama energy coursing through, coming up from the sand, the water. Really center yourself. Become an observer of your thoughts. And let's think of an intention that we want to set for the day. This next week. Yes, this next week. So what, do, what do you want to bring into your life? What do you want to expand? Yes. The moon is going to be expanding. Yes. What do you want to expand and bring more of into your life? Really just put that in your consciousness right now. Visualize it, every detail, even if there's not a lot of details, feel the essence of it. And then we're going to awe together. So the sound of awe is the sound of creation. We're going to do three of those, just nice, long awe sounds. So you're really picturing that energy. Picture that energy at the base of your spine, moving up, and then you're releasing it out into the universe with the sound, the power of sound through your Land. So here we go. Really let that crystallize into your mind, that, that vision of what you want to bring more of into your life. And here we go. Deep breath. Ah. Stirring up, stirring the pot. Stirring the pot. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Switching directions. Stir up all that chi. Oh my gosh, the sand hurts so bad <laughs> on my bird. Yes, we're stirring up the chi. Stirring our pot of chi <laughs> with the Baldwin. <laughs> Ha 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 
my god. I shouldn't have said that. No, that's perfect. <laughs> Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody, for laughing with us and joining us for this beautiful day. Let these blessings go with you. Keep your intentions high and in your forefront. Don't let, don't get distracted, and have a beautiful day. Namaste. Namaste.